Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another theme park obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I am back at Universal Studios Hollywood for something a little different. I'm going to reveal a, a bit of a secret that I've been keeping for quite some time now. But I feel like today is the perfect day to announce it here on the channel. So how about you and I dive right in. Ah uh, yes, back at Universal Studios Hollywood for something a little different today. Let's see what the crowd's like heading into the park. Yeah, there's a steady stream of people heading towards the theme park today. It is Monday at the time of recording this and historically theme parks are very busy on Mondays because a lot of people think that Monday is gonna be slow so they end up showing up. So yeah, if you want a slower time at the parks, I suggest Tuesday through Thursdays yeah, a lot of people just end up taking Monday off. And for those wondering, just a little update, they're still working on this facade. And they're also uh, working on this particular tower. They have scaffolding and some scrims around that particular piece. So they might be working on a paint job. Now I've known about this announcement for uh, some time now, but the journey to this moment has been over a year long process of uh, a lot of thinking and thoughts and consideration but I'm really excited. Wanted to take a little bit of a shortcut around the Billabong store. Yeah, there are so many people heading in the park. I mean, great for Universal Studios Hollywood. I love to see it. Alrighty, I've made it in the park, finally. Now, a lot of you know that Universal means a lot more to me than what it means to the average guest. And that's because I worked here for a very long time, seasonally since 2011 for Halloween Horror Nights, and then permanently starting in 2016, right here in the Walking Dead attraction. Well, the former Walking Dead attraction is no longer here. And over the years, I was able to meet so many amazing people, and some in fact have become lifelong friends. So this place really does mean uh, a lot to me because it has created more than just a really good work environment. It has created relationships that will last a lifetime. And a lot of you also know that I absolutely adore Halloween. Halloween has been a part of my life for all of my life, really. As a young kid, I loved trick-or-treating. And as I got older, I dabbled in the professional haunted house industry. Now, before I started in 2011 at Universal Studios as a Halloween Horror Nights performer, I previously worked at a haunted attraction down in San Diego. And that company is called the Haunted Hotel Incorporated, where they operate the Haunted Hotel and the Haunted Trail of Balboa Park. They still run their haunts today and are some of the best haunts in America. So I'm very fortunate and grateful to one, call a lot of those people down there family friends, and two, have the opportunity to work at such an amazing haunted attraction, which still, like I said, runs today and is running uh, this season. So be sure to check them out. Uh, the Haunted Trail of Balboa Park and Haunted Hotel, the disturbance over in Mission Valley. It's a lot of fun. Side note, I love how this giant minion has become one of the most popular photo spots around this particular area of the park. I mean, it is pretty cute. If you're wondering where my cameo is, it's right there. And because I love Halloween so much, I really thought long and hard about possibly returning to Universal Studios Hollywood to work Halloween Horror Nights. YouTube is my full-time gig, and I would have to make some sacrifices here on the channel in order to come back to Halloween Horror Nights, and that's one of the reasons why I just haven't returned to Halloween Horror Nights. But you know what? After a lot of thought and consideration and a little bit of waiting around, it's official. I'll be returning to Universal Studios Hollywood for the 2022 Halloween Horror Nights season. It really was a tough decision because I really had to think of a lot of, of things, especially considering uh, YouTube and of course a bunch of other scenarios in my head. So yeah, for over a year I was thinking, okay, how can I do this? Uh, will, I able, uh, will I be able to juggle both YouTube and uh, Halloween Horror Nights? And you know, after narrowing things down and really you know, thinking about it long and hard, I was like, yeah, you know what, why not? I'm super passionate about Halloween. I love theme parks and working in theme parks, it you know, brings it to a whole nother level because you have a better understanding of how the park operates, but also you have a better appreciation for it as well. And obviously all the people that are within it. So I applied near the start of the summer and I didn't have to go to an audition because I had worked the event in uh, 2018, which was like their deadline for at least this particular year, a year of application. 
and I waited and waited and I got an email back saying, hey, congratulations, you've been cast in a role for Halloween Horror Nights 2022. And I was so excited because, again, like I love performing and scaring the heck out of people. And I love working here at Universal Studios Hollywood. They've always treated me well. And it's just such a fantastic opportunity. So I was super stoked when I got that congratulations email. Now with 2022 official, this will be my ninth season working Halloween Horror Nights here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Almost 10 years, can you believe it? That's pretty insane. I've had so much fun over the years and I've met so many amazing people. And like I said earlier, lifelong friendships and relationships have been created here. And it's just, it's so exciting to know that I'm gonna be coming back for the 2022 season. Now today I also wanted to take you all on a journey of how it all started here at Universal for me at Halloween Horror Nights. And it's gonna start right here in the lower lot. So let's make our way downstairs. By the way, Nintendo is looking absolutely stunning today. They keep adding so many little pieces. It's just, I love it. I cannot wait to walk around that land. For Halloween Horror Nights 2011, I called the lower lot home. And so did my dad actually, because we both worked it that year. He was actually down here behind Revenge of the Mummy when that attraction was hostile. But I worked across the way over at JP. Now the reason why I called it JP is because before the Jurassic World renovation, the ride was Jurassic Park, and this particular haunted house location was referred to as JP. And this was the location, and it's funny because there's actually a tent right here, just because this is an extended queue for Jurassic World, and they want to provide some shade for the guests. But this was pretty much the size of the HA10 haunted house that I worked in, which was Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare. If some of you remember that, go ahead and comment down below. My role in this particular haunted house was Dr. Alice. The facade of this was a giant house and it was spectacular. It was one of the coolest haunted houses and the fact that I was able to work in uh, the first like rock and roll maze was uh, definitely an honor and I was so happy that I had a uh, an amazing cast. So yeah, every time I come down over here to the extended queue of Jurassic World, I definitely get some flashbacks from that season of Halloween Horror Nights for Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare. So much fun, such a great cast. And that was 2011, so let's move on to 2012 where I moved up to the upper lot. I didn't stay down here, they moved me somewhere else to a second Alice Cooper maze. I made my way over to Hogsmeade. No, this is not the next location that I worked in, but I just wanted to make a pit stop over here. But I did want to mention a little disclaimer before we continue the video. I will not be revealing anything that is meant to be a secret at Halloween Horror Nights in past or present. So if it's supposed to be a secret, it's gonna stay a secret. I always wanna be respectful to the park and of course all the employees that are within it. Everything that I'll be talking about in today's video is A-OK -okay to talk about uh, from the past and uh, from the present if I do mention anything in the video. That's gonna be okay. Everything else though, other questions you may have, uh, I unfortunately uh, can't talk about it. It's gonna stay a secret, it's gonna stay that way because I think secrets are fun. And on top of that, yeah, I still wanna stay as respectful to the company as possible. But with that said, let's continue on. In 2012, this is where I called home for HHN. And this was the Alice Cooper goes to hell in 3D haunted house. It was the second time Alice Cooper had showed up to the event and the last time Alice Cooper hasn't had a haunted house at the event since 2012. And again, I was very fortunate to work the sequel maze to the first one in 2011. Yeah, right behind this facade, they still have bits of the queue space left over, but since the minions have moved in, the area has changed dramatically. Uh, the attraction that used to be here was the Terminator 2 3D attraction and the queue space for the Terminator attraction was used for the Halloween Horror Nights Haunted House. Very clever way to lay out that attraction. Now in this haunted house, I was Dr. Alice, Showman Alice, and Chef Alice. I played multiple roles and the costume changed throughout the evening, which was a bit of a task, but you know what? It was actually a lot of fun because I got to play different characters throughout the entire haunted house. So it was really a blast. Now after the 2012 season, I took a very long break from haunted houses and I was put out here in the scare zone. In 2013 and 14, I was here as a purger, played purger in 2013, and then a polite stranger in 2014. And the polite stranger was the guy in the suit, in the blue tuxedo suit, that was me. And then in 2015, I was an exterminator, for those that remember that scare zone, that was a lot of fun. And that year, I worked 
kind of like two different positions. I had a prop that was a water sprayer, so I got to spray people with a bunch of water, which was supposed to be this, um, you know, this bug spray. And then I also was a chainsaw swing. So every other set, every other time I came out uh, in front of guests, I either had the prop or the chainsaw. So that was really fun. Working in scare zones is so different than working in a haunted house. It's a totally different, different atmosphere. It's a totally different vibe. And it's a totally different challenge too. Now in 2016, I was moved over here to the Purge Gauntlet of Fear. It started like right over here and then it wound its way through the Parisian courtyard and down French Street. That was a really fun like scare zone gauntlet. And it was uh, just kind of like a hodgepodge of different purge things. Probably one of my favorite years of Halloween Horror Nights. And it was just the, the amount of freedom that we had to run around and hide behind corners and different props was so much fun. In 2017, I moved back up here to the front for the Halloween scare zone. And I was a scarecrow that particular year, a chainsaw scarecrow. So it was my third year doing a uh, chainsaw here at Halloween Horror Nights, which was a lot of fun. I love doing that role. It's just such a unique scare and it's a really effective scare too. People get so terrified when they hear that noise. And that particular year, 2017, was a lot of fun too, being back up here in the front with that specific character. I love that character and I love being a creature. I love being something uh, different every single time. For a while there, I was a purger uh, for a couple years. So uh, after a while, I was like, okay, you know, I get the purge. It was fun, but I wanted to switch it up and I'm glad that the following year, in uh, 2017, I was like, some sort of other scary creature. And my last appearance at Halloween Horror Nights was 2018, and that was right here in The Walking Dead. Now, from 2016 to 2018, I had been working in The Walking Dead permanently as a full-time performer. And during the season, I would take off that time uh, in here and work Halloween Horror Nights. 2018 is also the year that I started my journey here on YouTube and Theme Park Obsession was born, an idea of mine that I had had for years. And I'm so incredibly grateful of the success that the channel has had and all of the memories that uh, you and I have created over these uh, few years, since 2018. But that's really why I haven't returned to Halloween Horror Nights. Like I said, I was just, uh, you know, I was putting all the time and effort into the channel and I just didn't, I just didn't really have time to come back. But now that things are a little bit more settled, I have my groove, I know what to do here on the platform. It was, uh, a, it was, it was just like natural for me to think like, you know what, maybe I should return to Halloween Horror Nights. I'll give it a shot. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, that's okay too. And I got it. I got the 2022 season, my ninth season in general here and it's just so cool to be back. Now I won't be revealing where I will be for this season. That will remain a secret. I will reveal it later on uh, when I'm allowed to. I, again, I want to be respectful to the company and if they don't want people announcing where we're supposed to be or whatever, then I'm not going to announce it. But I will say that I am very, very excited for my role this year at Halloween Horror Nights. Eight solid years of Halloween Horror Nights here in Hollywood, scaring the pants off of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. It's been an absolute joy and all the memories that I've made over those eight seasons have been nothing short of incredible. And I can't wait to add season nine, 2022, to the books. It's gonna be an incredible year. Now, before I close it out, some of you may be asking, well, what does that mean for the channel come uh, September and October? Well, nothing too crazy. I will only be posting a few videos a week. Sometimes I try to post every day as much as I can. But during the season, during the Halloween Horror Nights season, I will be posting about two or three times a week, maybe a little less, just depending on uh, how, one, how I feel, I don't wanna overdo it, and two, uh, just based on scheduling. You all are still gonna get updates from Six Flags, Universal, Disney, SeaWorld, and Knott's Berry Farm. But again, they'll be spread out a little bit more. And you'll also still get some Halloween content. Now the Halloween content won't be as much just because I'll be uh, working this event. So I may not be able to attend some of the larger haunts, but I'm gonna try to get to as many as I can. With that said, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna call out of this place all the time. I'm gonna be working pretty much every single event night, at least as much as I can. I don't wanna skip out on the event nights here at Universal Studios Hollywood. One, because 
Uh, you know, I wanna have a good clean record here. And two, yeah, I like having fun. Now throughout the month of August, I'll still be doing the HHN updates here at Universal Studios Hollywood. And later on this month, I'll also be doing a survival guide video, pretty much showcasing the entire event, how to navigate it, the ticket information, uh, the hours and all that fun stuff. So yeah, that'll be the schedule for August, September and October. So super stoked, cannot wait to start the season here at Universal Studios Hollywood. And I cannot wait for all of you that are attending to show up and hopefully I get to scare the pants off of every single one of you. But with that, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week and you won't wanna miss out on that. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description. Be sure to follow that because I post updates there all the time that I don't normally post here on the channel. I'm very excited. I cannot wait. My ninth year doing this, almost to 10. So hopefully I can make it to 10. And I just, you know, I'm so incredibly thankful and uh, grateful for everything. And I'm so glad I could be a part of the 2022 team. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.